Hello you all, thank you for watching my video. This is a video showing you how I make poly mailers out of the dollar store gift bags. So what you see me doing here is I'm about to take the string out of the bags because you don't necessarily need them. You can always use the extra strings for extra decorations or if you don't want them, you can just always throw them out. But that's what you see me about to do here. Okay, so what you see me doing here is opening up the bag and taking out the extra piece of cardboard that's at the bottom of the bag. We're taking this out because you don't need it. Again, you can use this for extra decoration or you can just take the scraps and just throw them out. Now we're gonna take this clear piece and take it out. Usually on these bags, they have a perforated line so that way you can easily tear them out without messing up the bags. So that's what you will want to do and you want to be extremely careful so that you don't pull it too hard so that the bag can rip. Okay, so what you're going to do here is take some tape. I actually ordered this tape off Amazon, but you can use any heavy duty tape. I prefer the clear tape just because that's what I prefer, but I'm sure any tape will do as long as it is heavy duty and it will keep it together. Okay, so now we're at the bottom of the bag and what you're going to do is kind of crease both sides so that way you can fold it in half and that way when you do that you're going to stick the tape right in between the two sides where you actually see the little barcode thing at. And here I'm just showing you what the inside of the bag will look like. It will have the little hump right there, <laughs> if that's what you want to call it. But that's what it will look like after you tape it. Okay, so don't mind the excess tape because you can always take the scissors and cut it off as you see me doing here. So right here, I'm just gonna cut that little extra piece of tape off because it is not needed and I don't want it really to be seen. For this part, bubble mailer is optional. You do not have to use bubble mailer in your DIY poly mailers, although it's best to do so just in case you have something in there that is really, you know, fragile. You want to use the, bu the bubble mailer so that way it can protect it. Um, what I'm doing here, if you do want to use the bubble mailer, I did get it from Amazon. Um, but what you see me just doing here is lining it up with the bag. And then, once you do that, you're going to put it inside the bag. But keep in mind, you are going to cut some more of the bag. And then, in that case, you are going to cut some more of the bubble mailer.
Okay, so for the step, what you're gonna see me do here is cut the top about eighth of the bag, I believe. Don't judge me on the measurements because I really don't know. But you're gonna cut the part of the bag that do not have the perforated plastic piece that we cut earlier. So what I'm doing here is just cutting both sides at the creases of the bag. And then after that, we're gonna just cut straight across the, the top of the bag on the side that does not have the perforated plastic piece. And you're gonna cut all the way across until you get to the other side. And that's what you see me doing here. Okay, so once you made it to the other side of the bag, what you're gonna do is cut on the crease so that way that little part can come off. And then afterwards, like I said, you can use the scraps for extra. I do have a picture at the end what I used the scraps for. And so now what I'm going to do is put the bubble mailer back inside the bag. Again, this is optional, but I put it back inside the bag so I can measure it out according to the bag and cut the extra pieces off. Also keep in mind the bubble mailer, the bubble wrap does not have to be as neat because again, you're gonna fold it up as long as your products are protected, that's what matters. And what I did was put some little confetti pieces in there for extra decorations. Um, I did end up fitting both bags in here, but <laughs> for video purposes, I just did the one bag. And um, so what you're gonna see me here is fold it down a little bit. And again, you see the extra bubble miller that's sticking up, don't worry. Cause once you fold it down, like I'm about to do here, you're gonna tape it. And once you tape it, there you have your bubble miller. And also I didn't record the extra part where I took the tape and put it across the bottom of the bubble miller. That way that can stay closed where we put the double-sided tape at. And um. So I'm just showing you here what you can do with the extra pieces. Again, I like to keep my scraps because I use them. <laughs> and again, I do have a picture at the end where you can see it, but there you go.